The number of foreigners who apply for jobs in the UK grows yearly. However, you will require a visa if you intend to move to the UK. There are several sorts of visas available, with the skilled worker visa being one of the most popular ones. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I will talk about UK skilled worker visas, who may apply, the English language criteria, and so much more. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and like the video because believe me, you don't want to miss out on our future videos. We publish three new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. Let's go. What is the UK Skilled Worker Visa? The UK Skilled Worker Visa or Tier 2 General Work Visa allows you to enter the UK and work for an authorized business. You can stay and reside in the UK for up to five years until your visa needs an extension or renewal. You can file for a visa application up to three months before your start date. If you work in healthcare, such as a doctor or a nurse, you can file for a health and care worker visa, which is less expensive to obtain and does not necessitate paying an annual immigration health surcharge. Okay, what can you do with this visa? You can work in a job that qualifies, study, bring your dependents if they are qualified, uh, in some in instances take on more work, do volunteer work, or go overseas and return to the United Kingdom. Suppose you have resided in the UK for five years and completed the other eligibility conditions. In that case, you can apply to stay and live permanently in the UK. It is commonly known as indefinite leave to stay. Okay, what can't you do with this visa? You can't apply for most government benefits or the state pension. You can only change your job or employers if you seek to update your visa. And if your application is accepted, you will be given a detailed list of everything you may and cannot do with the UK skilled worker visa. All right, what are the eligibility conditions to get a UK skilled worker visa? To immigrate to the UK as a skilled worker, you need to satisfy certain conditions. Number one, your job. This visa covers many jobs. There is a link in our article for the complete list of these jobs. Go ahead and see them. Link of our article is in the description. You must also satisfy certain conditions. Let's look at them. Number one, your job must qualify for this visa. Number two, you'll be working for a home office approved UK employer. Number three, you will get at least the minimum wage for the work you will do. The minimum wage is about, uh, you know, 10 pounds and 10 piece per hour or 25,600 pounds every year or the going rate for the sort of job you will be doing. You must first find out the four-digit uh, occupation code of your job. You may look it up using the ONS occupation coding tool. When you determine your occupation code, check the table of qualifying jobs to see if it's listed. Links for both the tool and the table of qualifying jobs is in our article and the link of our article is in the description. Number two your UK employer. Before applying for a UK skilled worker visa, you must have a job offer from an authorized UK business because they support you in coming to or staying in the UK. Sponsor is another word for approved employers. View the authorized UK employers list. If your employer isn't approved, they can apply for a sponsor license if they meet the requirements. Again, the link for the employer list is in our article, and you know the rest. Small companies and charities will be charged a fee of £536 and £1,476 for large and medium-sized companies. A license application typically takes 
eight weeks to process. You will be checked for eligibility by your employer, aka your sponsor. The sponsor will provide you with a certificate of a sponsorship. A sponsorship certificate is not a physical document, but rather an electronic record. For your visa application, you'll need a reference number. You must file for your visa within three months of receiving your sponsorship certificate. Number three, English proficiency. You will normally be required to demonstrate your understanding of the English language, meaning you can read, speak, write, and understand English at the CERF level B1. You can do it by, number one, completing a secure language uh, test for English or SELT administrated by an authorized provider. Number two, holding a GCSE. Your level must be a Scottish national qualification level, uh, which is five or four. It must be obtained via a study at a UK school when under the age of 18. Number three, holding a degree level academic qualification delivered in English. If you studied overseas, you must apply for ECTIS for certification that your qualification is comparable to a UK bachelor's, master's, or PhD degree. If you are from certain countries, you do not need to demonstrate your command of English. All right, uh, well, uh, what, are, what countries are we talking about? Again, go to our article and see the list. Link is in the description. Okay, here's the question. What is the UK's points-based immigration system? Let's see. There is a points-based immigration system for the new UK skilled worker visa. You must score at least 70 points. You can increase points through your level of education and a shortage occupation role. The mandatory points are 20 points for a job offer from a UK business with a sponsorship license, 20 points for a job with the required skill level, and 10 points for English proficiency at the B1 level. An additional 20 points will be awarded to the candidate if their job pays at least £25,600 per year or at the current market rate, whichever is higher. However, tradable points allow you to attain the 70 points without necessarily earning at least £25,600 per year. Okay, well, what are tradable points and how do they work? Let's see. Zero points for a salary of at least £20,480 to £23,039 or at least 80% of the profession's market rate, whichever is higher. 10 points for a salary of at least £23,040 to £25,599 or at least 90% of the profession's market rate, whichever is higher. 20 points for a salary of at least £25,600. It can be the going rate for the job. Okay, 10 points for a job in a rare occupation. 10 points for a PhD in a field related to the job. And 20 points for a PhD in a STEM field related to the job. Remember that the wage regulations for employment in healthcare and education are different. An impartial organization determines the going wage for these jobs. So there's that. Okay, how to immigrate to UK as a skilled workers? The application for a UK skilled worker visa is online. You can apply if you are outside of the UK and are visiting the UK. If you are in the UK and extending your current visa and if you are in the UK and changing from another visa. If you wish to change jobs or employers, you must apply to have your visa updated. Another question. 
What are the UK skilled worker visa requirements? Let's see. To immigrate to the UK as a skilled worker, you must prove your identity as a part of your application. This is determined by where you are from and the job you have. When you apply, you must include, number one, your certificate of the sponsorship reference number, which you will get from your employer. Number two, evidence of your command of English language. Number three, a current passport or other proof providing your identity and nationality. Number four, your title and yearly salary. Number five, the occupation code for your work. Number six, your employer's name and sponsor license number, which are on your sponsorship certificate. Depending on your situation, you may be requested to provide number one, bank statements to prove that you have enough funds to maintain yourself in the UK. Number two, evidence of your relationship with your partner or children if they apply. Number three, your tuberculosis test results. Number four, a criminal record certificate. It is for specific occupations, not all of them. Number five, a genuine ATAS certificate if your employer advises that you need one because your employment requires PhD level research or higher on a sensitive issue. Number six, if your criteria is from outside of the UK, you must apply through ECTIS with your ECTIS reference number. An empty page in your passport is required if, number one, you are from a country other than the EU, Norway, Liechtenstein, Iceland, or Switzerland. Number two, you don't have a biometric passport with a chip from the EU, Norway, Liechtenstein, Iceland, or Switzerland. Number three, a certificate translation must be provided if your paperwork is not in English or Wales. If you are applying from outside the UK and you want to work in certain industries, you must present a criminal record certificate. What industries? Again, Quran article. <laughs> Sorry, you have too many lists. You have to do that. If you've lived in more than one country, you may be required to present a certificate from each one. It is determined by your age and the duration you have spent in each country. If you're under the age of 28, you will require a certificate from every country you have lived in for one year or more since 18. If you are 28 or more, you will require a certificate from any country you have visited in the past 10 years. All right, how to apply? You must go to this website. The complete link is in our article. You may save your form and return to it once you begin your application. Sign in to your profile using the link in your confirmation email. After you apply, you can request that your application be cancelled. Your money will be reimbursed only if your application has not begun being processed. You will receive an email with the result of your application. This will explain what steps you must do next. After you've applied online, verified your identification and submitted your paperwork, you should receive a decision within three weeks. You could pay for a fee to receive a fast decision. If so, you will be informed when you apply. Okay, another question. How long is a UK skilled worker visa valid? Your visa might be valid for up to five years before it has been extended. However, when your visa expires or if you change your job or employers, you must renew it or update it. Okay, can you extend your UK skilled worker visa? You can extend your visa as long as you match the qualifying conditions. After five years, you may be qualified to apply for permanent residence in the UK. This provides you the chance to live, work, and study in the country for as long as you like and 
seek benefits if you qualify. You can extend a skilled worker visa if, number one, you maintain the same job when you were granted permission earlier to enter and remain in the UK. Number two, your job has the same occupation code as the time you were granted earlier permission. Number three, you are working for a company that issued you your current sponsorship certificate. Number four, your partner or children must apply individually if they want to renew their visas. They can apply with you or whenever their existing visa expires. You must apply online before your existing visa expires. You may save your form and return to it once you've begun your application. Sign into your profile using the link in your confirmation email. You should receive a verdict within eight weeks of submitting your application. Okay, how much is the fee for a UK skilled worker visa? You must have enough money to pay the application fee. It is based on your circumstances. The usual price varies from uh, 625 pounds to 1,423 pounds. You must also make the healthcare surcharge payments. It is normally 624 pounds per year. Lastly, you'll need at least 1,270 pounds to support yourself financially in the UK unless you're exempt. You will pay a lesser application fee if your work is on the shortage occupation list. When you apply, you will be notified how much you must pay. All right, another question. How to switch to a UK skilled worker visa? If you're already located in the UK on another sort of visa, you may be eligible to apply to change to a skilled worker visa. Your partner or dependent children must apply for a new visa individually. They can apply with you as you or whether their existing visa expires. To switch your visa, your job must satisfy the qualifying criteria and you must be able to communicate, read, write and comprehend English. You cannot seek to switch to this visa if you are currently in the UK on immigration bail a visit visa, seasonal worker visa, parent of a child student visa, short-term student visa, domestic worker on a private household visa, or because you were granted permission to remain outside of immigration laws such as on humanitarian grounds. You will need to leave the UK and apply for a skilled worker visa overseas if you belong to one of those countries. Before your existing visa expires, you must apply online. You may save your form and return to it once you've begun your application. Link for online application is in our article. Sign into your profile using the link in your confirmation email. You should receive a decision within eight weeks of submitting your application. Skilled worker visa decisions presently take an average of nine weeks. When you apply for a visa or an extension or you want to switch your visa, your application will take more time than expected if your supporting documentation must be validated, if you must attend an interview and because of your circumstances, for example, if you have a criminal record, you may be able to pay to receive a quicker decision. If so, you will be informed when you apply. If you need to modify your application after you've submitted it, contact UK Visas and Immigration. You have the option of canceling your application. Your money will be reimbursed if your application has yet to be processed. The outcome of your application will be given to you by email or letter. This will explain the steps you must take next. Okay, let me ask you another question. Can you bring your partner and children under a UK skilled worker visa? Your partner and children can accompany you or live in the UK as dependents. They will need to fill out individual applications. If their application is approved, their visa will expire when yours does. 
When you apply, you must submit proof of your relationship. A dependent partner or child is defined as number one, a spouse, civil partner, or unmarried partner. Number two, your child under 18, even if they were born in the UK during your stay. Number three, your kid over 18, if they are living in the UK as your dependent. In the case of your partner, you must be capable of proving that you're in a legally recognized civil partnership or marriage in the UK. When you apply, you must have been in a relationship for at least two years about your children who are 16 or over. They must, number one, reside with you unless they are enrolled full-time in boarding schools, colleges, or universities. Number two, not be married, not be in a civil relationship, and not have children. Number three, they need you to provide financial help. If your child lives with you, you must give proof of their address, such as a financial statement, credit card statements, driver's license, a NHS registration form and a letter of recommendation from their institution or college. Your partner and children must have enough money to maintain themselves in the UK. You, your spouse or your kid, you will require £285 for your companion, £315 for a single kid and each extra kid costs £200. You, your spouse, or your kid must have the funds accessible for at least 28 days. Day 28 must occur within 31 days of your or your application for this visa. You'll normally have to produce confirmation of this when you apply unless you have resided in the UK for 12 months or more with a valid visa. Your company may cover your family's expenses during your first 30 days in the UK. This must be stated on your sponsorship certificate. If your partner or kid applies at a different time than you, they will only need to demonstrate that they have enough money to sustain themselves if they have lived in the UK for a duration less than one year. Okay, can you change your employer on a UK skilled worker visa? You must apply to upgrade your UK skilled worker visa if, number one, you want to change your job, but your new job is with a separate company. Number two, your job switches occupation codes and you are not enrolled in any graduate training program. Number three, you quit a job on the shortage occupation list to choose a position that is not on the list. Your new work must still fulfill the qualifying standards and require a new certificate of sponsorship to demonstrate this. You will not be required to show documents again once you have been in the UK for over 12 months. You can apply for a visa update up to three months before your new visa starts. But there you go. Now you have the necessary information you need to immigrate to the UK as a skilled worker. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. You can also follow our social media accounts. Links are in the description. If you have any type of visa that you want to know about, write the name in the comment section and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.